tight. Every few seconds, a CHP officer leans into a car window to tell someone they can't get through quite yet. We're not allowed to have anybody come through unless it's for a personal concern. It's a measure taken at roadblocks across Butte County to protect the people who live in places like Megalia and Paradise, but those people are ready to go home. You no, know, all my breathers and inhalers and everything is up there. Okay. In, in your house, right? Yes, okay. and it's only less, like less than right. four miles exactly. up the way. I totally understand. There's, like I said, there's an escort team coming. I can't tell you when. Charles Terry's home survived. That's what he was told. He wants to get some medicine and other personal belongings. I don't know what to do here. Uh, I'm going to probably go back down here and talk to them about that and tell them, you know, I need to, to, to get, at least get up there and get, get that stuff out of the house if I can get it. Carmen Smith waits yeah. roadside. She hasn't been home since Thursday okay, when she left for work at Feather River Hospital. I thought I was going to go home because I work at the hospital and we had to evacuate all the people. And I go, oh, I'm, I'm coming back home, but I did not, I did not know it was this bad. It was the fire was right there. Now she waits to get medicine for her husband, who's battling cancer. My husband needs some medicine, and uh, we just ran out, and I need it. After a nearly three-hour wait, Carmen got her escort, but Cal Fire says it's still not clear when everyone will be able to go home.